Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to create dynamic performance chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created these four beautiful charts for service level, quality score, sales conversion and productivity. And here I have taken three option button to change the location or the country. If I will select US, then you can see all the chart will be changed according to the US numbers. If I will select UK, then it will be changed again or you can select the India. Here we have created four legions using the color coding. The first chart is for service level. You can see the color green. It is for quality score, sales conversion and productivity. You can use these chart in your daily report or even in your dashboard also. Now I'll show you the data. So this is the data sheet here. We have this data. You can change these value here and all the chart will be changed automatically. So now I'll tell you from the starting, I'm going to copy this data and I will add a new worksheet here and I will paste this data here. This will be our data sheet, which is the sheet three. I will insert a column here to take the support and that column we will put, let's say ID and we will take the combination of location or country and the metric name and just fill this formula down. Now we will insert another worksheet. This is sheet four and this will be our chart sheet or the report sheet and here we will take the similar design i'll tell you how i have taken this design so first of all for first two or three lines just select and we will fill this dark gray color this one then for this area we will fill some light gray color like this one then again for the bottom area we will fill the similar color like this one all right we can fill this till the right till here let's say we will create the title so let me take one more row here with the same color you can select and press ctrl d or you can fill the same dark color now i'll go to the insert and then i will go to the word art and here i will insert this word art and you can put your title here let's say i'm putting dynamic performance chart just resize this Make it slightly smaller and font color I'll take white and move this here. Font name you can take Arial. Now we will create these chart. So before creating these chart, we will insert three option button here. So I'll go to the developer tab. Then I will go to the insert and I will insert the option button from form controls. Here you can see this is the option button. Click here and just click here. You can make two more copy just select this option button press ctrl d and press ctrl d again so we have three options now we will rename these option buttons for first one edit text and we'll take india and delete the other text similarly here right click edit text will take us for the third one we will take uk all right so we have three different option button here and now i will insert a rectangle so just go to the save and insert a rectangle so i'm taking this rectangle or you can take the rounded corner rectangle also and just drag the rectangle here like this pick this yellow handle change the corner radius like this we will fill the same color or you can take the no fill also border line let's say i'm taking black and select the option button align these option button properly align left and distribute vertically now i will insert a text box so i'll go to the insert and text box and drag the text box here i will put here location align this center center and we will fill the same color here which is available in background this color and we will not take any outline here no outline all right friends now i will right click on any option button i'll go to the format control then i will go to the cell link and then i will go to the seat 3 and I will click anywhere. Let's say I'm just clicking here on J1. So now these three option buttons are linked with the J1. If I will click here, then you can see here will be two. If I will click here, then you can see here will be three. So I'll create a small list of country here like India, US and 
UK. Make sure sequence should be the same which is available here in option button. Now I will get the country name which has been selected in option button. So I will use index formula here index. I will select this range comma. I will select the row number this. Then you can see we have selected UK. UK is available here. If we will select India then India will be available here. Let me copy these four matrix name with header and just paste this here. We will create another header which is the blank area or the transparent area of the chart. So I'll use let's say blank area and that will be 1 minus this value the performance and fill this formula down. But every time the performance number will be changed according to the country whatever has been selected. So what we will do we have created an ID here we will use a VLOOKUP formula. VLOOKUP so we cannot put the VLOOKUP with the matrix name because there are duplicate matrix names are available here. So we will use country name and metric name. The combination of country name and metric name. Then we can use this ID. So the country name available on K1. We should fix this press F4 comma. Now we can put the table array. So this will be table array press F4 and we need to get the column number 4 value which is performance value comma 0. So you can see we are getting the value here. If we will select let's say US then number will be changed. Now I will go to the seat 4 and I will create the chart like this. So what I will do here I will go to the insert and then I will go to the shapes and here I will go to the oval shapes and I will create a small oval shape. I will go to the shape outline and I will choose some light gray color like this. For the shape fill we will fill the gradient fill. So right click go to the format shape and you can see the format shape window is opened. Now just click on gradient fill. This is some default gradient is available here. Now I will go to the preset gradient and I will choose this first one let's say. And here I will remove one stop from here. I will keep only three stop and move this second stop on the center. So for first one I will fill this light gray color this one. For the second one I will fill the white color this one. For the third one I will fill again the light gray color. And then you can change the direction. Let's say I am taking this one. Let's take for the last one little darker and the for first one also. Alright now I will go to the effects and then I will go to the shadow and I will choose this shadow and here I will take transparency around 65 or 70 let's say I am taking 65 percent size we will take around 103 or 4 then the blur we will take around 15 point and distance 4 or 5 point now I will go to the C3 and I will select the first line here for the service level then I will go to the insert then I will go to the charts and I will insert a donut chart this one Remove all the chart elements from here. Select the donut. Go to the format. Take the shape outline as no outline. Change the size of the chart. Make sure you are taking the same width and height. For example, height is 3. Take the width is 3 also. Alright. And then select the donut. Go to the series option or you can go to the right click format data series. And here donut hole size we will take around 30%. Select this chart, cut this chart then move to the seat 4 and paste this chart here. Select the chart then go to the format, take the shape fill as no fill and shape outline as no outline. And select the chart, press the shift key and reduce the chart size like this and move this chart over this oval. Reduce the size. Alright, now what I will do, I will select this oval, make the duplicate of this and reduce the size smaller like this and keep this here. Go to the format and save fill, take let's say this green color. Right click on the chart, go to the format data series, angle of the first slice, just take the 90 degree. And then for this color, go to the format, take no fill and for this one, you can take some other color. Let's say I am taking this blue color which I have taken from more fill colors and I have taken this color sky blue and change the color for this oval also. Take the same color this one. Select this chart and select this oval and select this bigger oval also. We have selected both ovals and chart. Go to the format. Align this center then align this middle. Right click make this group. 
Now I'll go to the insert, then I will insert a word art and I will take this word art. And I will connect this word art, just go to the formula bar, press equal to, go to the seed 3, I will connect with K3, which is the service level performance, press enter and change the size slightly bigger. Take the font name agency app fee, make this bold. You can see the word art pattern has been changed. So we'll change the style again from format, take this one and move this here select the word art and select this group right click and make a complete group. and now you can make the duplicate of this you can keep this here press shift key and change the size like this you can make slightly bigger make the duplicate again and you can keep this here create slightly smaller you can choose the random size make sure when you are resizing this you have pressed the shift key all right now I will select the chart, just click here, right click, go to the select data and just edit series. In place of service label, we will take series name, this time quality score and here we will take this range. Click on OK, click on OK and we will change the size also for this word art because this is bigger chart, we will take the around 40 and we will also connect this word art with quality score like this. Alright friends, we'll change the color. Let's say just select this, go to the format and take the, let's say green color. And similarly here also, format, fill the green color. Now quickly I will change these two chart with sales conversion and productivity. So let me do it quickly. Alright, so I have changed the color and the data connection. Now if I will click option button, then you can see the value is getting changed. Now you can create these labels. These are very simple labels. You can simply insert a text box or you can simply copy this one also. Let me copy this and paste this here. Just delete this. Let me change the text as service label. You can go to the word art, take the first one, slightly bigger font white and color you can choose the first color similarly you can create the other legends also all right friends so that is how you can create this dynamic performance chart i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching